I'm back. So Romeo's dead. Our poor Romeo died. Um, we're gonna break in, you know, we're gonna break down his death in a future lesson and and what his death means for the the, the central ideas and the themes of this play. But the reason why we showed the play version, first off, is that his death is not shown properly in the other versions because it, they don't show him killing Paris. Poor Paris. Paris was just a guy who thought he was in love with a girl and thought the girl loved him back. Poor Paris thought that Juliet was going to marry him and she he's just going to the grave to give flowers to his dead fiance. And out from the shadows pops Romeo, this Capulet enemy who's apparently there to maybe desecrate the bodies. Why else would you be breaking into a tomb in the middle of the night? So our brave Paris jumps in, tries to stop him, and ends up being killed. So that makes two people Romeo's killed. And, uh, and you know, the reason why probably the movies take that scene out because it kind of takes away from the final death scene of Romeo if moments before he just killed a dude. So make that what you will. But, uh, you know, I know some of us don't like Romeo a lot anyway, and it just kind of gives one more, one more reason to, uh, to not like him. And, you know, as I said earlier, Paris is often portrayed as bumbling and kind of foolish, and he is. He's not just kind of out of it. He's a side character, but he causes so many issues. And, you know, his final words, you know, were lay me next to Juliet pretty much. And so, you know, it's kind of like Romeo. They're, so they're really, when Juliet wakes up, there's going to be two dead guys <laughs> Um, to the left and right of her, which is everybody's dream. Okay, so the next step is a close read. Your teacher is going to read to you the text. It's a very short text of Romeo's final words before he kills himself in Juliet's tomb. You're going to break off into the groups that you know and love, and you know what to do. You're going to break down the text. Now, the teacher's going, she's, Miss Mays, I believe, is going to be circling around the room, giving any feedback that you might need. Although you guys generally have a pretty good idea of, of how to do this. Um, and at the end, she'll go over some of the key answers uh, she has in front of her. So at that point, if there's still time left, I'll post an exit ticket on Canvas to complete. And then we're done for today. If you ran out of time, if for some reason there is too, there's not enough time to complete all of this, we'll just push it tomorrow. So Ms. Mays, you can just push the rest of the lesson to Wednesday if they run out of time to break down the conversation. All right, tomorrow's class will be focused on Juliet's death, which you know you know I love Juliet way more than I love Romeo, so we'll we'll get some time to appreciate her. And tomorrow we'll also just finish the play. All right, go for it. Get into your groups, do your readings, and we'll go from there.